fun one. Uh, generally, it's believed that your chances, either of you, of defeating uh, Sheldon Silver are diminished because there are two of you in the race. Would you be willing to step aside, and if so, under what circumstances, in order to improve the other one's chances of defeating Shelly Silver? No. Uh, I, I mean, the second part of that question is interesting, but without anything more, the, the answer is no. I believe that it's not about Paul and I. I believe we are on the same side of this fight. I believe we are in, uh, have many of the same principles. What I, what I, uh, I believe is this race uh, will come down to a judgment of who, uh, unfortunately, uh, has the ability uh, to beat Silver and I think that I am that candidate and uh, I think that uh, we will see that bear out in the short term. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> the, I, I'm, I'm going I'm to respond though to one other point of question. After 22 years without a challenger, I think there is no question that, there, that the fact that we have two people putting campaigns together shows that the winds of change are blowing through downtown Manhattan. Uh, I think this is exciting that we can have a forum like this, even though uh, one of the people we'd like to be asking questions of did not show up. But I am confident that my campaign is the stronger campaign, that my roots in this community run deeper, and that we will put, that we will put together the real challenge. I have not on thousands of doors. I've spoken to New York. I've spoken to Lower Manhattanites every day for the last six months in this campaign. And I can guarantee you, people are not ready to vote. People are not ready to vote in the same guy who's, who's, who's been maneuvering the levers of power in Albany. So, yes, New Yorkers are ready for change. Yes, I think I'm the strongest candidate to deliver that. Um, I encourage everyone to come by our campaign office on Bowery and see how we're doing. But, uh, okay. Time down here. Next question is 